What is going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy Random Marks coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, we're going to be talking about Bone Sheep Swap Token, guys. And man, oh man, do we have some positive catalyst that's not directly correlated with uh, Bone, but it actually will affect Bone in the long term. And, and I'm talking about the Ethereum Spot ETF, guys. So make sure you stay tuned watch this video all the way to the end so that way you guys can understand the latest and greatest of what's happening right now within the ecosystem so currently if you take a look at the overall crypto market we did have a slight push this morning you know after 9 30 of course when wall street got into it um but now we're seeing a retracement bitcoin sitting at 69 but we're seeing ethereum at 3500 guys so this is the news uh, fidelity fidelity uh, they found that s1 form uh, for a spot ethereum etf and one thing about an etf and we've already seen this guys when it uh, when bitcoin had its spot etf and it's been approved of course you get the you know people taking profits from buy the rumor sell the news and after that initial dip where people start coming into the market then you see bitcoin literally guys go from what 47 46 all the way to 73 within a short amount of time so we could very well see something similar as far as price action for ethereum but the caveat behind it or the beauty behind it is any token that is on the ethereum layer they're going to have a positive rise up as well too because again the underlying asset because bone is an ethereum based uh, token so the underlying asset as far as where it's being built upon is on ethereum guys so we want ethereum to do well because remember bone shibarium it's a support to ethereum so you can't say hey i'm not bullish on ethereum if your token is on ethereum you know so hopefully that makes sense um and this is why i'm excited about this news because again and i keep reevaluating as far as my target because now i'm starting to think like okay hundred dollars may not be enough guys yeah, like I'm seriously having this conversation like day in, day out because based upon what's happening, because we got to think about this liquidity event. And I always bring up Shiba Swap 2.0, and this is what I want to see from it. I'm I'm constantly drilling that into you because without without some of these catalysts, we don't see 100, at least 100. But if we see these catalysts, guys, we're going to see way above 100, because think about this with the liquidity event. There's a couple of things that's happening in order for people to participate in the uh, liquidity event. They have to go out and they have to buy bone. Not only do they have to buy bone, they're going to have to put away that bone. So not only is it affecting it on the supply side as far as putting away bone, but they also have to go into the open market to obtain these bone um, to be able to get, you know, a, be a part of it. So these are bullish event we already talked about the k9 what they're going to do they're going to add liquidity even though those bones are locked away we're just using another form of bone um on shibarium where people could freely use their bone this is all positive stuff because not only is going to affect the alts that's on shibarium it's going to also affect the price of bone like when i tell people like i i sit here and i mapped all of this out except for the um, K9 part, because I didn't know about the K9 was going to happen. But going on two years, guys, I mapped this out, looking at different chains, looking at how these tokens typically expl uh, explode. And these are the same things that I've been saying for the past two years, guys. And we are literally at the home stretch. So this is why I'm super excited just to be able to see all of this happen. Now, some pos positive news as far as about Bone um people been bugging exodus exodus is actually probably one of my second wallet that i've used um back in 2016 so they're really og in this game i still got them um exodus uh, wallet on my other computer where it's super easy just to be able to use so this is how the interface um actually look um but they responded to the wind bone they said hey hey shabarium and bone are in our suggestion box i don't have an eta so they don't have an eta so i know some people might say when they already said they don't have an ETA, but if I did, I'll share it with you in a heartbeat. No promises at this stage, but we're grateful for your presence in the Exodus, uh, Exodus ecosystem. 
like Exodus again this is to me a very very good wallet and this is something that I actually use so I could actually speak onto it and if we are able to get a, a Exodus in integration then that in my opinion would make it super easy to be able to get your Shibarium uh, bone um, in and off of uh, off of Shibarium um, at least until we see like bigger exchanges, you know, like crypto.com or something like that, uh, to integrate Shibarium. But in my opinion, that is super, super simple. So I'm crossing my fingers that we do see this happen. Now on to the soul killer guys. Uh, we have like, if, if, if we just take a look just at the overall TA of this, let me try to get this out of the way. Um, if this will let me, but the overall TA on this bad boys, guys, it is having an ascending wedge pattern, guys. I love ascending wedge pattern because they tend to pop very strong and very violently. Um, so what do I mean by that? I'm talking about on the way up. So this right now, as you can see, I drew the line. So there's two things that happen. And, and I love whenever it starts getting tighter, it just indicating that it has to pick a direction whether or not it's going to pick on the way up and just start having a big parabolic move. Because if it has this breakout right here, because it's been in consolidation since eh, roughly, uh, we'll say March, uh, March 20th. So roughly seven days. It's having this little consolidation. Um, but if we get this pop on the way up, I could at least see us, you know, not only breaking a zero, but us being at 0 0.302. So this is where I'm calling it at as far as um, at the very least for a top um which in my opinion if we do see that a lot of people that got it into the pre-sale um, i want to say that that would put us somewhere close to what another a 20x which is not bad at all as especially right now like we're close we're at 8x um for everyone who got into pre-sale um once we break a zero we're at 10x so things are looking pretty good for this and also there is um more news as far as about the uh, soul killer guys um and this again i talked about this uh yesterday and i was mentioning it as far as with k9 finance um but seems like you know let me just read what i said okay it was it was all in reference to like people wanted to put soul killer on ethereum because being on ethereum does not necessarily guarantee uh exposure um because at the end of the day there's so many tokens on ethereum and we don't it will be saturated like the difference between like uh having erc 404 on ethereum because it's something new having a regular token on ethereum it doesn't bring eyeballs you're just going to be saturated with a whole bunch of other token yes you'll it'll give people opportunity just to be able to get in but at the end of the day we're trying to grow Shibarium, make Shibarium really good. So this was the proposal. I said, I propose this solution, create a receiving contract where people on ETH can send their bone to the contract and it automatically converts bone into uh, Soul Killer or Dam on Shibarium. And this was the response that I got yesterday. I said, I think I found somebody who could help with this good idea. Decentralized, experimental, everyone participate and they put sharpie into it so it seems like that might be a go guys like we might be able to start seeing that and if we do see it it would look something like this and again you gotta anytime that you guys are operating with sending money or sending anything to any type of contract you gotta be in a decentralized wallet if you're doing it from an exchange you're gonna lose your money make sure you're in a decentralized wallet so that way whenever this comes out I don't want to hear nobody be like, oh, my God, I sent it from my Coinbase account or I sent it from my Binance account. I'm talking about those centralized. Now, if you have like a Coinbase uh, wallet, that's different. That's decentralized because, again, all of these guys buying tokens, you should be uh, getting yourself to a comfortable place as far as knowing the ins and outs of as far as using a decentralized wallet. But essentially, whoever's on the Ethereum side, if they want to get in on so killer and this right here guys when i'm telling because i've been around so many i've seen so many different contracts um even though i'm not a coder myself but i've seen different contracts and seeing how uh 
you could pretty much morph any contract to what you want it to do. It will take work. I could say that for, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. But what you morph a contract to what you want it or the function that you want it to do, then it makes the lives of a lot of people easier. Like the, the people who allows, you know, makes the road, make the road easier for DGENs or mean buyers or investors or newbies to come into the market. Those are going to be the projects that's going to win. And this is what we're seeing right now with Soul Killer because, uh, because all it takes, if let's say if you're on Ethereum, you're not on uh, Shibarium, and you wanted to buy Soul Killer, all you have to do just literally just send your bone to a receiving wallet. And what I mean by a receiving wallet, just the contract address, and it automatically converts everything over to you, you know, um, to Shibarium, and it buys the token for you, and it automatically gets deposited in your wallet by you just doing one action then that's going to attract a lot of people into that project because you're going to just start seeing people sending money from left and right, boom, 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 boom. Then all of a sudden, we're seeing the price of uh, the Soul Killer just having this nice, big, juicy, parabolic action, guys. And this is what I want to see because once people start to see that, it is going to create extreme FOMO, not only on um, you know, the Soul Killer, but all these other token guys that's currently on Shibarium because they're going to want to do the same thing. They're like, yo, let me get some of this uh, Ethereum money. And hopefully, and this is another idea I was thinking too, um, since it is on Ethereum, this probably would take a little bit more work. But if they also include in that contract, people could send Ethereum and allow that Ethereum, you know, to convert over to Bone, like buy Bone. Because you could do all this within a contract. You know, you could have a, a liquidity pool, like uh, have the contract execute uh, from a liquidity pool where it is, you know, people who have ETH and they want to get into um, the Soul Killer. You send your Ethereum to that contract. That contract automatically buy a bone. Then from that bone, get transferred over to Shibarium. And from Shibarium, it buys Soul Killer for you. Like, and all of this just based upon one transaction, you know, one send, um, that is something that's actually very doable. Um, of course, you know, maybe charge a fee or something like that. You know, if they're sending their ETH, they're not going to get all the ETH that they send, um, and just charge them the, the appropriate, uh, tax fee of whatever the, you know, the transaction may be. And if all of that happened, guys, we're going to get more and more users getting adopted into Shibaria because by making the process extremely easy and not only that too because instead of people wanting to just use the bridging contract which I still think it's um you know it has its uh use case um for it but people could virtually use the bridge as far as like using uh soul killer as a bridging method because the simplest, you know, the the less resistance that you have in anything, that is the road that most people are going to travel. So I'm super excited about that, guys. Uh, can't wait to hear more updates on that. As I find out, I'll definitely let, let you guys know. Um, and if you guys have any idea, because this is still decentralized, uh, you know, there's no official team. So if you have your own ideas, make sure you get on Twitter, get on X, tag me in your idea. I don't mind liking it and reposting it. So that way we all could see this, uh, flourish because all it takes is just one project because someone asked a very, very good question. They said, do I think meme tokens is going to pop off on Shibarium? And the answer to that is yes, but, you know, there's a but with it. We at least need one to pop off really hard so that way more people can see it. Because once you start hearing testimony, uh, you know, people talking about, hey, I put one, uh, $100 into this and my $100 turned into $20,000 or turned to $100,000. It is going to attract a lot of eyes. Um, I've been saying this for the longest, but. I'm super excited just to be able to see what direction this is all taking place. But let me know, guys, in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Random Mars guy signing off. Peace.